Las Vegas. This is NAB Show Live, produced by Broadcast Beat. Ryan Salazar here with NAB Show Live. We have Dave Wells of Moving Pictures. How you doing? Good, Ryan. How are you, man? Doing great. So it's always great to see you, and you Thanks, know what's buddy. trending in the industry. You're a cinematography kind of guy. What's going on at NAB this year? Well, I call it the year of the budget cinema lens. There's a lot of new glass out there that's under $5,000. You've got the Sigma uh, primes and zooms, short zooms, lightweight zooms, which I really like a lot. Uh, they're very fast. Uh, 1.5 for a under $5,000 uh, prime is quite amazing. The zooms are lightweight. They work well on gimbals. Fujinon has a new set of um, lightweight zooms. They're under $5,000. They're MK series. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, they're a little slower. Um, and then you have the new CP3s from Zeiss, which are phenomenal lenses. They're very lightweight, buttery smooth. They're an upgrade to their CP2 line, which is the most widely produced uh, prime in the history of Zeiss. They sold 30,000 copies of those. So, Wow, so I'll, I'll be the first to admit, I don't know much about cameras, and I de certainly don't know anything about, about lenses. So when you say buttery smooth... The focus, the way the focus works, the way it moves in your hand. So when you're turning it, yeah. it's just like, it's like butter. So they just, <laughs> yeah, like butter. So they just, you know, nailed it with the engineering of the barrel. And um, so okay. a lot of, a lot of, then uh, Ingenue has a new zoom. Uh, it's an upgrade, it's a new addition to their Optimo line, their Optimo style line. Great zoom, it's F3, but it covers full frame, so it goes all the way up to red 8K wow. and airy open gate. So that's a really, really big deal. That lens is also very, very affordable. So I, I, one of the takeaways this year for me is it's the year of budget glass. You can buy some really nice glass now for under $5,000. Wow, that's great. And you know, so cameras too have rev been revolutionized over the years, especially since everything's digital nowadays. What are you seeing with physical like cameras? Cameras, you know, this NAB, uh, nothing earth shattering with cameras, uh, except for in VR. Uh, the A9 from Sony is a DSLR that's mirrorless. That's a really cool camera. Still photography-wise, it shoots 20 frames per second, which is amazing. It's got an amazing focus system. It consumes half the power of the A7. Um, it samples at 6K and down reses to 4K, so it has an absolutely beautiful picture. It's a great, great DSLR. Shoots amazing video. On the VR side, there's a lot of new cameras. There's the uh, Vision, and what's it called? The 360-something. I'm not a real expert at VR. There's another one everybody's talking about called the E Halo. That's a Google uh, partner. Uh, they designed a camera uh, in conjunction with Google, with Google Jump, which is a stitching uh, app that's in the cloud. So the Halo uh, camera is uh, really, really hot. People are really excited about that. The build quality is very, very good. The talk is that the stereo stereoscopic, it's easy, <laughs> easy for me to say, the, stereos the stereoscopic abilities of the Halo is way beyond what the uh, Nokia Ozo will do. So it's designed differently, uh, and, uh, but all the VR guys are really, really excited about that. So, so, so when I think about AR, the AR and VR stuff, just going into that a little bit, uh, a good friend of mine, Brian Seth Hurst, he actually runs the AR and VR pavilion here at NAB. And you know, when it, when it, it came here last year for the first time, and when new stuff like that happens, a big thing here, you wonder, is it going to stick? Is it going to be around next year? Is it yeah. just like a fad, right? Yeah. And AR and VR is here. It's a second year. Uh, I think it's being talked about more heavily than last year. Absolutely, and it's really, the core of it is all about live event streaming. That's, if, you, if, if you're over there, you see that, you know, the broadcast trucks can do live 360. It's really a big, I think, event play and live stream play opposed to a production play. It's both. I mean, we all know that the problem with viewing VR is the distribution of headsets, right? So uh, I don't think it's what 3D was. I think it's here to stay in a lot of ways. I think it'll slow down after a while. Um, but we're just at the beginning of the design of really fantastic camera. So I, I would, I'd bet a lot of money that next year we'll see a whole nother, we'll see double the amount of cameras and uh, the apps that support those cameras and the stitching, real-time stitching in the cloud is, is just fantastic. And it's going to yeah. get better. That's great. So, all right, so for, for anybody, because i got to give you a shout-out here, uh -huh. uh, you know, you're, you're very well known at the show. You happen to be in Fort Lauderdale. We're in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. We've worked together many times. Yeah. If anybody's interested in, in chatting with you about equipment rentals, that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. how would they get a hold of you? Um, you can uh, jump on movingpicture.com or you can reach out to us on Facebook. We're Moving Picture Services on uh, Facebook. So, yeah, both ways. Or just call me. My number's uh, on our website, movingpicture.com. All right, great. Again, David Wells, Thanks, CEO, buddy. founder of Moving Pictures. Uh, we will uh, we'll be back uh, in the studio in just a moment. Uh, back to you guys.